card. Daniel Snyder. Daniel Snyder. Ah, man, when will this guy just be forced to sell the team? <sighs> you too, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with yet another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here to talk about our beloved owner, Daniel Snyder. And the more drama, breaking news that he's in. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL or in this case our Washington Commanders. And let me know if you guys want me to stream the draft that's coming up this later month. Um, because I know everyone's going to be streaming it. I streamed it two years in a row. Let me know if I should go for a three or not. You know, if not, if you guys don't want me to stream, if you're going to be tuning in to other people's stream, that's totally cool with me. I'll just make my videos. And even on top of the stream, you know I'm still going to make my videos regardless, but I'll just make the videos if that's something you guys, are, you know, want. So it's totally up to you. If you guys want me to stream for the third year in a row, cool. If not, I'll just upload a video and talk about our draft pick. But let me know that in the comment section. Don't get, don't forget to subscribe button. Now let's get into Daniel Snyder. So, Daniel Snyder, again, has found himself right back in the spotlight, right back in the breaking news. This is an annual thing with Daniel Snyder. Every year, every offseason, it's always something new with Daniel Snyder. So, breaking news came out late last night that the House Oversight Committee has received information alleging the Washington Commanders used a scheme to hold back ticket revenue from the NFL. The Commanders allegedly did not pass along the required 40% shares of ticket sales to visiting teams. Let's read that one more time if you didn't hear it. The House Oversight Committee has received information alleging the Washington Commanders used the scheme to hold back ticket revenue from the NFL. The Commanders allegedly did not pass along the required 40% shares of ticket sales to the visiting team. I mean, what more do we need to hear? Daniel Snyder needs to be forced to sell the team. I mean, this is nothing new to Washington fans. It's nothing new. We're numb to this, but it's like, what more is it going to take? I'm going to let you guys know this now. This isn't going to get him to sell the team, get them to make him sell the team. If the allegations of the sexual saw all of that that comes out by Nair Snyder, and he's still the owner of this team and nothing has happened to him, you really think they're going to fire or make this dude sell the team because he came up with a way of, I guess scheming out, scamming or whatever of the uh, visiting teams out there, forty percent shares, something. First of all, I didn't even know like the away team was required to get a share of the ticket sales for that specific game. Never knew that. So for an example, that Cowboys game last year where they came into our building and killed us, Micah Parsons. All of them on that defense killed Taylor Heineke, and we were, and then we tried to make that comeback late. Yeah, Jerry Jones got a share of that, or we're supposed to, and I never knew that. Um, but it's like, how? What more does you have to see, like, for to, to for Dame Snyder to have to sell this team? I mean, how many times is this guy gonna get away with murder? Essentially, how many times is this guy gonna get away? We're doing things like this with no repercussion. I don't care. Removing him from day-to-day -day operations is not doing anything. You don't think Tanya Snyder is going back home listening to Dan and Dan is telling her what to do? You don't think that? Removing him from day-to-day -day operations, oh, okay, that, 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 that was supposed to be a W. No. Make this dude sell this team. I'm telling you guys. I don't care how much Daniel Snyder tries to fake change or whatever. He already put a juju on this team. He put, I don't know what to call it, besides a juju, but he put a bad 
stench on this once proud franchise that it doesn't matter if we have Ron Rivera, doesn't matter if we have Tom Brady as our quarterback, no matter who if we have the best receiver in the league, Devontae Adams, one other thing, we're not gonna be good because Dame Snyder's still here. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can get the healthiest player in ever. A guy that never got injured before in his career. But he'll come to Washington. He'll get hurt. Why? Not because he can't take care of his body. Not because of his teammates. Not because of his team. But because of Daniel Snyder. Because he's still the owner. He has some type of juju on us, man. God's a bad person. God don't like ugly. God don't like bad people. So, put a stench on this franchise. And until Dave Snyder sell this team, man, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. And I feel bad for Ron Rivera because Ron Rivera is trying his hardest to change this team. He's trying his hardest. But little does Ron know, there's nothing he can do about it. There's nothing a player can do about it. It's this man right here on my screen, Daniel effing Snyder. And it sucks because I'm only 18. This man, Dan Snyder, is like, what, 56? So when I'm 40, he going to be like 70, 80 something. That's bad math right there. But like 20, 30 years from now, Dan Snyder still going to be uh, owning this team. We 70 something still owning this team. And it's going to be, God, man, I just hope we win one before I go, man. That's all I that's all I hope for, bro. I I know it's gonna be no time soon, but I just hope we're gonna win one. But as much as we say this future is bright, it's not really bright. I'm gonna be forty two years old, still asking God to make Dan Snyder sell this team. <sighs> man, oh man. So this is the most Washington thing, by the way, too, guys. That and I'm sorry I'm not energetic in this video. It's because and you and you guys understand I'm numb to this, man. This is nothing new. It's always something with this, with this team. So looking at something like this, maybe three years ago, I'm like, oh, Dave Snyder probably gonna be forced to sell the team. They're not gonna make him sell the team, man. They always give out get our hopes up, and then Roger Goodell steps to the podium. All he's gonna say. Yeah, we saw it, or we're, we're looking at it, we're reviewing it, it's under investigation. Then he's going to come back and say, oh, Dan Snyder is just removed from day-to-day -day operations. That's all he's going to say. He's a puppet. Dan Snyder, I don't know what it's going to take, but this ain't going to be it. And I hope no one out there is believing this is what's going to be. This is what it's going to take to get Dan Snyder out of here, because it's not. But yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. <sighs> I really, really pray that, that something happens, but we know nothing's going to happen. Maybe a fine. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. Though it's me and Boy One Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell to the Washington Commanders. Want to roll to 4,000 subscribers. We're ever so close, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me know how you guys feel about Daniel Snyder scheming the visiting teams out of their 40% share of ticket sales that they're supposed to be made or supposed to get. Hopefully, one day we win one. But yeah, man, it's been one guy. Like, comment, subscribe, to watch the commanders again. I'm out. Peace.